Welcome back to our first edition of UALR Spotlight. For those of you just tuning in, we've already spoke to uh, the director of the Cooperative Education Department. And uh, moving on, we're shifting the spotlight to one of UALR's best and brightest guitar performers and recipient of the Dean's Talent Award. Please welcome John Burnett. John, it's very nice Hi. to you know. Thank you very, Thank you so yeah. Much. Can I get that out? Thank you very much for being here. Whatever. So John. What brought you to the music program over at Euler? Well, I started uh, started performing out when I was about 14, and um, kind of through that and through the network that I ended up playing with, um, I, someone mentioned the name of Steve Struthers, a professor up at the Community School of the Arts. Okay. And um, said, man, you really need to study with this guy. He really knows his stuff about... Um, and this is when you were 14? I was about 14 or 15. Okay. And, um, you know, they said he's a great jazz guitarist, you know, played with some pretty decent names. Um, great jazz guitarist, great rock guitarist. And um, so you really need to study with this guy. And it was kind of through him that I got my in with uh, the music program up here and through, uh, started studying with Michael Karenbauer. Okay. Now, uh, I hope you don't mind if I ask you this. Like, how old are you? I'm 21. Okay. So when you were a teenager, what was your mindset? Of, like, how did you feel about music then? Um, or really, I guess it was kind of a conduit to just... Uh, you know, you're kind of at the awkward age where just you don't really know what's going on, yeah. and, uh, especially like junior high and high school, and it's a kind of a way you try to figure out who you are and um, you know, figure out what life's about. And, and what were you into? Uh, guitar. Uh, I played some sports and stuff like that. Oh, um, I, I meant music-wise. Oh, music-wise. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, anything from rock to folk, jazz, uh, the occasional country, and even metal. I mean. Okay. So, uh, is it all right for me to say, like, anything that had an instrument in it, so to speak? Uh, to some extent, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, when you made the transition, when you became a freshman in college, well, here at UALR, what, what changed? Um, I guess my approach, really. Um, you know, it had taken things I'd done for years, um, just as far as, like, listening and, like, kind of, it was more so a language than anything else. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a, <clears throat> I had the passion, I knew kind of what the styles were, but I, I didn't know exactly how they went about it, like the technicalities and the names and the theory or what have you, so that, that was kind of a, um, a, kind of a humbling experience, actually. <laughs> Basically growing your knowledge and growing the language and just being able to speak it when you're on stage, right? Absolutely. Awesome. Now, do you, um, there is, are you working on anything right now? I've got a, a couple projects going on. Um, it's right now mainly uh, going to school and teaching. And, okay. Um, I still try to still try to pick up a few gigs a month um, just to play out and kind of keep the repertoire going. Okay. Now, what is the actual name for what you're majoring in? Uh, I think the technical term would be uh, Bachelor of Fine Arts, uh, Jazz Guitar Performance, and the non-technical term would be uh, Poverty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got you. Yeah, if, if we're not starving, we're not yeah. artists, right? Um, All right. So now, when you're studying poverty, you know, <laughs> is there anything that any any good tips for somebody that's like really passionate about being poor that we really that you would give in the process? Like, basically, this is the journey that you're going on. What would you say to somebody that's like, hey, you know, this is the dream? It's really don't be afraid to. Uh, <clears throat> Don't be afraid to educate yourself as much as you can about um, just your career. You know, the, the whole goal is to kind of translate passion into, I guess, a meal on the table or you know, paying rent. And you know, so if you can do that, even at a, you know, even at this level, then I, I guess that can be called success. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, I mean, educating yourself. Do you plan on going into the master's program at all? Absolutely. Nice. And so, is it possible I could call you like Dr. John Burnett? Uh, on paper. Nice. <laughs> nice. I mean, like. We, we want to look very good yeah. while we're poor, yeah, right? Call me Johnny, call me... <laughs> nice, man. All right. Um, when you... Well, have you ever thought about teaching? Absolutely. Yeah. So are, are you currently teaching right now, like lessons on the side or anything like that? I've got about, a, uh, about 30 students that teach out of a studio in West Little Rock. Okay. And is the... What in instrument, like, is it guitar, just guitar? or A um, little bit of guitar, a little bit of bass, um, and occasional piano. Um, oh, so you're well-rounded. I try to be. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, when when you were well, when, when did you first pick up a guitar? Let's talk about that. Um, got a guitar. I think it was for Christmas when I was about nine years old. And okay. Then, um, lost interest really quick. Um, put it away for about a year and just didn't touch it. And then uh, ended up pulling it back out until when I was about eleven, maybe twelve, and uh, just ended up not stopping. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm. 
there seems to be like a point in time where every artist comes across like a certain, you know, a certain event or a certain something that just triggers the passion. So I was just curious, was there ever an event or an important part in time where you just said, all right, uh, I think I'm going to commit my heart and soul to doing this? Like, um, I, was, I guess it was more like a nothing to lose type moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, and that nothing to lose type moment, did that happen when you were a teenager? Or are you uh, in that right now? Yeah, or? It happened when I was a teenager. It, I guess it's still happening. I'm, my father passed away when I was about 14. I'm sorry to hear that. And um, so that ended up kind of just translating, you know, all that into, uh, I guess, music or, you know, just make, keeping yourself busy. And that was kind of the route I took with that. If you had to express yourself, it was through this. Absolutely. That's awesome, man. And um, I know you've been working on a studio project lately. I, uh, so is it, is it all original music or standards? And can you elaborate on what those a they actually mean? Um, right now, it's more so kind of a, <coughs> uh, kind of a, demo project, I guess you'd say, just so we'd have something to hand, uh, hand people. And a lot of it's just standards, um, a bunch of music majors kind of getting together and saying, hey, what do we all know? And that's, that's where the standards come from. It's, yeah. Uh, just songs that people have been playing for years and years and years. And um, so, you know, that way it kind of cuts down on rehearsal time. But uh, the originals are a whole lot of fun, too. Um, well, w would you mind playing some for us later on today? Oh, absolutely. Oh, awesome. Well, um, thank you very much, John, for being thank here. So and uh, we got to take another quick break. All right, well, um, I, first and foremost, I'd like to thank all of our guests for being here. And uh, they were fantastic. They definitely helped me out on my path. And if you ever wanted to learn more, you can go to ualr.edu. So um, to close out the show, we have our very own John Burnett and his, uh, I guess, uh, friend, Mike Lavender, to close out the show. So until next time, I'm TJ Medell with UALR Spotlight.